Good morning, modern steaders. I don't know about where you live, but this winter weather does not want to leave us alone. 26 degrees out this morning. Morning chickens. And it's just a good reminder of why we're building the greenhouse. <laughs> oh, I can't get over how cold the mornings have been lately. Tanner and Pluto are in the house. Tanner got hurt yesterday. I was putting water into one of the compost piles right there and I dumped a five gallon bucket of water in it and he was on the back side and I didn't realize it and it scared him and he took off and he got caught on the fence. So when he took off, we heard him yelp and we just figured that Figaro got him or something because him and Figaro are always kind of wrestling with each other. Well, so later on that night, we're in the house doing dinner and stuff and he just kept acting weird. And we went over and we looked, tore his skin. He wasn't bleeding or anything, but his skin was ripped. So we had to call the emergency vet and get him in last night to get stitches. So, he's in the house right now, recovering. He's doing good, it's just not pretty. So later on, I'll show you guys that. Today we get to stop building the hoops for the greenhouse. I am excited about that. That's a huge stage. We need to take care of all of our animals this morning and then we're gonna stop building, but of course, we got some weather coming in in a little bit. We have rain coming, so we have a few hours and we need to get everything done today before the rain comes in because I don't wanna be outside in this cold rain building our hoops. I uh, hear somebody jumping around. Is that you, Willow? You want breakfast? Nora? Nora, you're right where I need to go. Everybody says I need to build you your own little shelf so you can stand on the shelf and not get a mom's feeder. We got enough projects to do, Nora. I don't need something else to build. We're trying to get our greenhouse built. Yeah, we're trying to get the greenhouse built, you silly girl. You're a sweetie. Good morning, pigs. Good morning, ladies. Did you sleep good? Our little bacon machines. Our bacon factories. There you go. Since it's been so cold in the morning lately, I'm having to give them water from a bucket. There you go. The automatic water has been freezing up first thing in the morning, so. Gonna give them one little dish of water in the morning, and then their automatic water is working after that. Huh, girls? I wonder how the black copper morans did last night for their first night in the chick brooder. We have two groups of chicks in here now. We got our original group. Morning ladies. And back here, we have our black copper morans. And man, they're doing amazing. They top off their feet a little bit. We ended up hatching out 10 black copper morans. And Rusty is the dad, and these two ladies over here are the mamas. You guys did a good job. Thank you. Waiting for the weather to warm up a little bit more, and then we're gonna get this batch of chicks out on pasture in a chicken tractor. They won't be laying until they're about five months old, so we have plenty of time to just to get them outside in a chicken tractor without a nesting box. Remind me of Black Stallion, the way you've been acting lately there, Hope. Oh, goat buttercup, which is right there, is the next one that's due. She's doing, I believe it's the end of May, but man, she's looking awfully big. Right, buttercup? She wants her breakfast. You girls do know there's plenty of food on the other side, don't you? They're like, yeah, but we want to see what you're putting on this side. It might be something better. Can't wait to see how good of a milker buttercup is. I've been working on our compost piles. 
the temperature of this one had decided to go down to like it was about at 100 degrees so I mixed it all up this weekend and now it's back up to 120 I want to check this pile I mixed this pile back up curious to see it had dropped actually this one really never got that hot but we'll be right back and we'll check the temp this pile hadn't heated up from this winter yet, and now after mixing it and giving it a bunch of water, we're just shy of 100 degrees. So that one's gonna be coming up to a complete temperature in a couple of days. I wanna check this other pile over here. Let's see what this one's at. Yeah, this one's a little bit colder. So this one's about 70 degrees. So you get this one hotter, and then these other two, which are the newer piles, are doing really good. With our compost piles here at the homestead, we're lucky. We raise chickens, we raise goats. So we have chicken manure in here, goat manure in here. We have wood shavings, we have hay, we have a little bit of straw, we have wood ash. We have a local coffee shop. We're able to get their coffee grinds and their organic tea leaves, I guess is what you want to call it. So we got all that in there. So we have a really good smorgasbog of everything in there composting. So it's going to make some good compost for us. And which we're really looking forward to that this year with the greenhouse because we're going to be needing a lot of compost. We need to build our bows today. We have two end bows. And we're going to have 11 intermediate bows we need to assemble. We're going to have a truss support and then our two truss braces that we need to get built. We're going to make a jig so we can build everything in place down here. We'll get them all assembled and then we can stand them up and get everything stood up at the same time. We've got all of our bolts and our nuts. I'm going to need a half inch socket with our impact adapter to go in our impact driver. There we go. Our end bows are marked with orange on the end. And the reason that these are marked with orange is they have extra holes in them for more of the bracing later on. And then the center, the intermediate bows don't have the extra set of holes drilled in the place for the purlins because they're going to have clamps on them. So we just need to make sure we use the proper ones at first. I need to grab 26 of our insert splices. Two, four, six. And grab 10 for now. These are all of our ridge connectors. Gonna need these up above. So we gotta put our splice inserts in, line up the holes, put our carriage bolt in, want our carriage bolt head on the top so it doesn't hit the plastic. Then we'll snug up the nut. And then after we're snugged up, I'm gonna give it a good little love tap to get it seated. And then we can tighten it up.
build our first one. You want this? Boom. Okay. Just up a little bit further. Right here is good. What do you think for tomorrow? Doable? For one. <laughs> well, we only got 13. So we just gotta make sure we don't grab the two, the last two that have orange on them. They're taped together. All right, right there is good. some bands. All right, so these 22 braces right here, what we need. And then we gotta build our truss supports after. So we'll keep some on one side, boom, and one on the other side. Boom. braces right here put on later on this is wind bracing we need our truss supports one's gonna be at your green and then the other one will go to red. And then the blue marks are for purlins, which is later on. And then we have, oops, shorter screws, but the same nuts for our truss supports. Right here. Actually, we'll go down and up. Now we need to build our truss support, which is what our truss braces connect to. And they're two pieces. So I'm gonna put them together and then I'm gonna put a tech screw in to hold them. What screw is that? One. And then before we tighten this, what we need to do is, all right, so now put a mark at 30 feet, two inches on the ground. All right. 
Right here is 30 feet, 2 inches. This is probably being too fussy, but this will make our bows all 30 feet, two inches. When we put the truss support on, it'll lock them in place. Right here is good. All right, 10 more of those, right? Little muddy. Calm before the storm, so it's get a lot of rain and heavy, heavy winds.
All right, we just lost the camera. Camera number two for the day. Willow, what are you doing? Huh? Willow escaped her stall somehow. What happened to mom? Huh? What happened to mom? Did she jump over the door and leave you? Crazy mama. See you right back. What? She had to jump. She jumped. She closed the door. She had to jump over the top. She opened. The top was swinging open. Willow. All right. So now we have the top lock, so Willow can't open the top and jump out. Oh, you goats! You crazy goats! Now we're gonna go back to finish building our greenhouse hoops. Well, we got done building our hoops just in time. It started raining about 10 minutes after we got in. We kind of rushed to make sure that we were going to be done before the rain and the wind. So now we have chores to do. How many eggs do you think today? Um, 14. 14. The chickens don't mind this weather. No, we certainly don't. Ah, uh, they were in the chicken coop. Even though they both came out of the chicken coop. All right, I'll switch you. It's chilly, huh? let's get a fire going. Yeah, it is chilly. It is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12. And then we'll see what we get from Rusty and his ladies. All right, let's go take care of the chicks. And then we'll get the girls some hay. There you go. Rusty and gang, you doing good? Nice and dry in here. Bet you the pigs are hiding in the trailer. What do you think? Probably. I would be if I was them. Yeah, even though they like mud. They do, but they're probably hanging out and staying warm in the pasture pig mobile. Yeah. Boys, you gotta come out and eat hay. And your hay feeder. Sheesh! I think we scared her from a nap. <laughs> Look at all the rain we got already. There you go. Were you napping or what? I think so. Let's 
See if they've made us any eggs today. One. Just one. Olivia's taking care of Willow and Nora. We gotta get some hay for the ladies. How are they doing? Good. Good? You did. Girls want some hay? Give you some inside. There you go, Blossom. It's like a step stool for you, huh? Right, you silly goat. Yeah. Look at that. Are you to run back? <laughs> no. No? It's not as hard as it sounds. It's windy though. The wind is fierce. Ah! We're gonna have some pork chops tonight. Al said he would do them on the grill. It's really uh, raining and a lot of wind. And I said, let me just do it in the oven. <laughs> Are you helping me? Are you helping me? Yeah. Look at it now, it's snowing out. Look how big those snowflakes are. I am so glad we're building a greenhouse this year. Oh. He's got his shield on because he won't stop licking his boo-boo. Come here, we got, he doesn't want to show it. Oh, he had to get stitches right there. Huh, Tanner? Yeah, you silly boy. Hope you heal up fast, huh? He's in good spirit. Spirits, he's not being bothered by it, so that's a good thing. Huh, mister? Yeah. You'll be running around on the farm again in no time. Don't give up this rest for your weary soul. And time to heal yet, still you fight. Well, we're glad we got all the bows built before the weather came in. Uh, we're building a greenhouse from Rimmel. I'll have a link in the video description down below to their website and it'll have the greenhouse that we're building. And we have a 10% off promo code for all of our viewers. But man, I can't get over that snow. This weather we've been having this year has just been all over the place. It's been nice and warm, cold, rainy, snowy, warm again, back and forth, back and forth. I can't wait till it switches over and spring weather is here for good. Tanner, he's starting to heal up nicely. He's getting his normalness back. He had, we got put on some pain pills when he was at the vet when they were stitching him up. So when he came home last night, he was not acting himself, but today he's a lot more like himself. He's rambunctious, which is good to see that he's in good spirits. He's running around. I think he's got to keep the stitches in for 14 days and then they'll get removed. So he'll be back to himself pretty soon. So thanks for coming along on our homestead journey list, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. 
I'm going to put a link to another fun video right here. And I'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.